Morning. Monday, February 13th, 2023. There, I dropped something. I got it. How's it going? Book I wrote. Best gloves on a baseball field. All time defensive player matchups. The question today. Who's the greatest and best defensive center fielder of all time in the Hall of Fame? Here are the categories. To determine who's the best, you got to look at these categories. Games played, fielding percentage, chances, putouts, assist, double plays, innings, fewest errors. How many center fielders in the Hall of Fame? 17, Willie Mays, Tris Speaker, Ty Cobb, Ken Griffey, Richie Ashburn, Ed Roosh, Mickey Mantle, Hugh Duffy, Lloyd Wayner, Joe DiMaggio, Max Carey, Duke Schneider, Billy Hamilton, Kirby Puckett, Larry Doby, Earl Combs, Pack Wilson, 17 of them. Who's the best defensive player? Who has the most games? Willie Mays, 2,829 games in center field. Four guys played over 2,000 games. Mays, Tris Speaker, Ty Cobb, and Ken Griffey. Number five, Richie Ashburn played 1,980. So Willie Mays has the most games played. Who has the best fielding percentage? Interesting here. Kirby Puckett, 0 0.990. But how many games did Puckett play in center field? I've got it here. Kirby Puckett only played 1,432, yet his percentage is the highest. Obviously, the more you play, your, your percentage will be affected. But for now, Kirby Puckett, 0 0.990, best fielding percentage. Chances. Who had the most chances in center field? Chris Speaker, 7,432. Willie Mays was second. Yet Tris Speaker played more, played less games than Willie Mays. You had more chances. Back in the old times, old school baseball, I think there were more balls hit to the outfield than in Willie Mays' time. So that's why Tris Speaker has more chances. Willie Mays' time, more people are striking out. Back in the old days, they're not striking out as much. So more contact. That's the ex explanation I can give for more chances for Chris Speaker, even though he had less games played. Speaker played 2,691. Willie Mays, 2,829. It's about a difference of 150 games. Putouts. Who has the most putouts of center fielders in the Baseball Hall of Fame? Willie Mays. 7,024 putouts. So like I said, Mays has the most games. Speaker had the most chances. Yet even though Speaker played less games, Willie Mays beats him in putouts. So there are a lot of balls hit to Mays. And he was able to make the putout. How about assist? Who has the most assist among center fielders in the Baseball Hall of Fame? Tris Speaker wins it. 448 assist. He played shallow. He was able to go to his left and to his right because he said that a pitcher gave him a tip one time. He said when the pitcher delivers the, delivers the ball... 
watch where the batter is standing and how he swings. And Trish Speaker was able to determine if the ball was hit to left, center, or right just by watching where the batter was standing in the box and how he swung at the ball. He anticipated the swing of the batter. For example, if the, if the batter pulled it, speaker knew it was going to be a pulled ball. If it was a hit to right center, speaker by watching the swing was able to pick up the ball. I thought that's interesting. Tris Speaker. Wins and assist. Double plays. Who had the most double plays? Center fielders, let's do it here. Tris Speaker, 146 of them. He wins it. And then the last category, fewest errors. Who among, nope, the next one is innings. Who had the most innings in center fielder? Willie Mays, 24,331. And then fewest errors, who had the least among center fielders? Kirby Puckett, 42, but he only played 1,432 games. So here's what I like to do. We determine who are the leaders. Let's do a what if. What if all 17 guys play the same number of games as Willie Mays, 2,829? Where would they end up as possible leaders in their categories according to how their percentage turned out? Following me? Chances. Tris Speaker had the most. If he plays the same number of games as Mays, does he still hold the number one spot? No. Because Tris Speaker averaged 2.8 chances per game, but there's someone else who beats him. Max Carey averaged 3.1 chances per game. If he plays 2,829 games, he would have ended up with a possible eight, thousand seven hundred and nine chances max carry and he would have beat tris speaker but speaker holds it he has the record but max carry in a possible situation playing all the extra games would have beat tris speaker max carry how about that how about in put outs let's do the same thing who had the most put outs Willie Mays, 7,024, but he has the most games. Who would win among all the 17 center fielders if they all played the same number of games? And put it in, in their percentage of what they were averaging, what possible total could they have ended up with? Richie Axburn. Average 2.9 putouts per game. Add all the extra games. See, Ashburn, how many did he play? He played 1,980. So if you add a 8, 849 more games, he has the same number of games as Willie Mays. He would have ended up with 8,265, and that would have beat Willie Mays' 7,000. What do you think of that? I think that's interesting. It's called possible... Scenario turned out. How about assist? Who would win that one? Well, Chris Speaker had the most, 448. If he played the same number of games as Mays, he was averaging 0.17 assist per game, which is most. He would have ended up with 471. And that would have beat everybody else, because if you have everybody else playing the same number of games, they don't come close to 471. So Chris Speaker would win the assist. Double plays. Who would turn out to be the best center fielder for double plays? Well, who had the most? Chris Speaker had 146. And if he plays that extra 138 more games to catch Mays, 
you would have ended up with 152 double plays and no one else comes close. Number two is 106 double plays by Max Carey. See, all these guys are playing the same number of games. They don't catch speaker. Neither does Mays. Innings, Willie Mays wins it because he has the most games. But in fewest errors, who turned out to have the fewest errors possible playing center field? Well, Kirby Puckett had 42, right? And, and he played 1,432 games. If he plays another 1,085 games, he's averaging 0 0.03 errors per game, which is the lowest. In those next 1,000 games, he would have ended up with 83 errors in 2,829 games if he played that. Nobody else comes close. Ken Griffey would have been second. Snyder third, Mantle fourth, and fifth is Larry Doby. So Kirby Puckett playing center fielder not only holds the record for fewest errors, but in a possible situation where he plays extra games, still would be number one center fielder in fewest errors. All right, we've determined all those categories. Let's look at one last thing. Where do they rank? Add up all the categories where they where they ended up in their ranks in games, fielding percentage, chances, put outs, assists, double plays, innings, and fewest errors. Where do they rank in all those categories? Who came out number one with the lowest score? Tris Speaker. Ranked number two in games played, 12th in feeling percentage, 4th in chances, 7th in putouts, 1st in assist, 1st in double plays, 2nd in innings played, and 12th in fewest errors. His score is 41. That's the lowest. Chris Speaker. Two, Richie Aspern has score 51. Max Carey was third, 53. Willie Mays, 55, Kirby Puckett, 55, Ed Roosh, 61, Ken Griffey, 63, Lloyd Wayner, 63, Ty Cobb, 66, he's ranked ninth. Joe DiMaggio, 68th, ranked 10th. Larry Doby, 74, Mickey Mano, 83, Hugh Duffy, 91, Duke Snyder, 94, Early Combs, 95, Billy Hamilton, 98, Hack Wilson, 112. Those are the center fielders. Those are their rankings. Tris Speaker beats them all. You would say these other guys are pretty good, too, like Willie Mays. Yeah, but he ranked fourth because he was first in games, but eighth in fielding, tenth in chances, ninth in putouts, twelfth in assists, seventh in double plays, first in innings, seventh in fewest errors. Add up all his numbers in his rankings. Came out 55. Puckett, fifth. How about some of these other guys? Mickey Mantle, ranked 12th. Who else was pretty good? Joe DiMaggio. He was good center fielder, but he's ranked 10th. Cobb, ninth. How about Richie Ashburn, ranked second? His score is 51. Speaker, his, rank, his score was 41. See, the lower the score, the higher the rank. Ashburn, fifth in games played, sixth in fielding, second in chances, first in putouts, but tenth in assists, 14th in double plays, fifth in innings, eighth in fewest errors. So according to this, Tris Speaker wins it as the best center fielder defensively of all time. Agree or disagree? I got more to say about Tris Speaker in one of my last uh, videos on defense. Wait do you hear what Tris Speaker did in his career. All right, that covers center fielders. I'm going to do right fielders next. Then I'm going to do pitching. And then the video after that, I will give you my choices on defense. 
And then we're going to ask one fundamental question and answer it. Who is the best defensive baseball player of all time, regardless of what position they played? Who ranks number one? We'll get to that. Thanks for watching here. Talk to you later. I'm out.